All right, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and today I'm back with another video here. And ladies and gentlemen, the Flyers, they pretty much do the no-brainer and they sign the guys that you would hope that would be re-signed. Um, or at least they're on the process of doing that, I should say. Uh, so they announced qualifying offers today. And uh, Noah Cates, Morgan Frost, Owe Luxell, Ronnie Adderd, and Cam York all get one. Uh, Evan Barrett, Kiefer Bellows, Wyatt Wiley do not. Uh, and in addition, per, you know, Persuading to the uh, CBA goaltender Ivan Fedorov's 2022-23 standard players uh, contract has been told and will therefore remain in effect for the 2023-24 NHL season. So essentially, Pro, uh, Pro Rov, Fedotov's contract is going to go from 22-23 to 23-24. Um, we'll see if he comes over. It looks like he might. You know, That's a kind of a whole different situation. Uh, as for Cates, Frost, Lixel, Adder, in York, pretty self-explanatory. Um, essentially, what a... A qualifying offer is, uh, again, if no one knew what that was, a, a qualifying offer is essentially uh, is an official standard player contract, uh, SPC, uh, offer which shall be one year in length and which can be subject to sal uh, salary arbitration should the player be eligible. Uh, clubs have until later of June 25th on the first of Monday, um, or excuse me, the first Monday ad for the NHL and, uh, entry draft to submit qualifying offers for 2023. The deadline is June 30th at 5 p.m. Um, so essentially what this is, is it's a qualifying offer to any RFA uh, to, re to retain negotiation rights. So the Flyers have up until a year in length for those these five players. Obviously, all of them will be signed by this summer. Um, but again, if you did not know, that's essentially what it is. Um, and it's for guys that are restricted free agents who literally you can just you have one year to negotiate a contract with and then you kind of just go from there uh so for kate's it's pretty obvious you know really good season this past year no reason why the flyers shouldn't sign him same with morgan frost same with Obi Luxell, same with ronnie adder and same with kim york i mean adder new york your two best defensemen um and you know prospect kind of range even though york isn't really a prospect anymore but still kind of getting his feet wet um as for the other guys that did not get the offers uh evan barrett Played most of the year with Reading, had 50 points in 46 games with the Royals. Um, you know, we got him in a trade, one for one for Cooper Zek, kind of just like a depth thing. Um, it wasn't really much of anything. Uh, he didn't seem like he was going to be making, you know, any strides for the Phantoms or anything like that, so the Flyers don't make an offer. Uh, Kiefer Bellows, you know, Bellows is, is, I didn't think the Flyers were going to sign him um, or at least give him an offer. Um, you know, he was a guy that didn't necessarily play great or really good for most of the year uh when we got him off waivers from the islanders uh i was kind of hoping to see something out of his game but it just never clicked uh he also did play one game and then i believe sat the next four in the press box so that probably didn't help um but he was just a guy that just he just for some reason like even when he was drafted like he had the shot and everything and like you just, you just don't see it played most of the year on the fourth line uh it just did just did not seem like a match here Wyatt Wiley played most of the season uh, down in Lehigh Valley, all of the season actually. Only played 45 games though, three goals, seven assists, 10 points. Uh, you know, obviously fifth round pick for the Flyers in 2018. Another right handed defenseman that just didn't really seem to work out, uh, unfortunately. But, you know, for, for Wiley, it's definitely, you know, change of scenery. He is 23, can definitely still turn it around. Um, so we'll see. It'll definitely be interesting. I mean, he has some good junior numbers, um, you know, 64 points in 62 games uh, in 1920, and obviously, you know, some decent numbers in, in the. Uh, the AHL, so he definitely can turn it around, but obviously will not be uh, in Philadelphia. Um, and again, the, the Fedotov situation, we'll see how that that you know goes over the next couple of weeks. Hopefully, the Flyers can get Fedotov. It would kind of add him into this like four goalie carousel kind of thing that they have now. You'd have Urson, you have Pal Pe uh, excuse me, Cal Peterson, and Carter Hart, and then you'd have Fedotov. So if Fedotov comes over and can go to camp, that would be four goalies at camp. Um, so it'll be interesting. But you know, as for these guys, um, Kate's Frost, Lixel, Adder, and New York, it, it, it's an absolute no brainer. Um, there's again. You know, it, it, it makes total sense to, you know, to give these guys those offers and, uh, you know, 
we'll uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, thanks everybody again for all the support. I uh, remember to check out the show last night. Um, Mike Knubel, uh, obviously for kicking it with Knubel. Bill Meltzer joined me as well. Um, a lot of fun stuff. A lot of good things coming. And uh, the Flyers are getting at it with their uh, the rebuild and just doing the no brainer stuff uh, right now. So let me know if uh, down below uh, what you think of these moves. Um, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Hit subscribe. And uh, yeah, thanks everybody so much for all the support and I will talk to you all again soon.